Hello everybody, welcome to my makeup decluttering. So I'm going to start off by showing you where my makeup collection lives and Oh, look at that little kitty. <laughs> so over here is my vanity table, my mirror. This is where I get ready to film. In the corner over there, you can see a tower of drawers and that, I mean, you guys would have seen these everywhere online. Pretty much every beauty guru, not that I'm a beauty guru, has these. These are from Ikea. This is where my entire makeup collection lives. These drawers are pretty broken because of how much I use these, but I'm gonna show you the mess that we're gonna be decluttering today. So just to give you guys an idea of how messy my drawers are, these are all of my lip products and there is no organization going on here. I'm ashamed, I'm so ashamed. Uh, these drawers hate me as well because I overfill them. Ah, yeah, so we've got a lot to go through. These are all of my eyeshadow palettes. Everything is a complete, we don't talk about that drawer. Everything is just so messy. That's where all my makeup brushes live. Oh, I'm so ashamed to be showing you guys this mess. Ah, oh, okay. Let's get decluttering because this is just embarrassing. Okay then guys, let's start with drawer number one. Now everything inside this drawer is to do with foundation, concealers, and basically the stuff that you put on your face before you apply the fun parts of your makeup. So firstly, this definitely does not belong in here. This is a sticker of Luna, Neville and Ginny. I cannot escape the magic, but that is not a makeup thing. So let's continue. So this is so unorganized. I had two trays in here, one for things like primers and other for you know, foundation, concealers. Now, I'm not gonna talk about every single product in here, but I will tell you the things that I use on a regular basis. When I start my makeup, once I've moisturized and all of that kind of thing, I use this foundation mainly. I have repurchased this so many times. This is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in shade NC15, and it's got a little pump, it's fantastic. So if you want to know which foundation I use, this is my go-to. And the concealer that I go to, I actually still have the box. I definitely do not need that anymore. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin, and it is in shade Fair Neutral. So this is my all-time favorite concealer. Uh, I do have others in here, but don't really use them, and they're also clearly not in my shade. But these are the two main things that I use from this drawer. But let's carry on then. So what else is in here? Oh, this is fantastic as well. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in shade Painterly. And this is what I put on to my eyelids before I put eyeshadow on. This gives it a good base. It makes your eyeshadow last longer. Big fan of that. I actually purchased this because I saw Jeffree Star was using it and haven't looked back. So yeah, now you can see that I've got three of these. Do I need all three of these? No, these two have definitely hit pan. As you can see, these have been very well loved. So once I've put my foundation on, I will use this NYX finishing powder to set it in place. Honestly, I'm gonna get rid of these because I always go for the one that's fuller, so those can go. Uh, yeah, let's carry on. Now I do have some other bits and bobs in here. Now these were sent to me for free by Wet n Wild. I think this one is in my shade. This is the Photo Focus Foundation. Uh, this is definitely not in my shade. Am I ever gonna use it? Probably not. <laughs> but yeah, it's always good to have backup foundation. Speaking of which, recently got sent this, full disclosure, sent for free by Benefit. Uh, looks cute, this is brand new actually, not used it yet. It's in a really nice bottle. It's their Hello Happy Flawless Brightening Foundation. So I think I am actually gonna try that when this runs out, but knowing me, I'm gonna repurchase this one. But let's have a look. Is there anything else in here that I always grab when doing makeup? Probably not, to be honest. This is probably my favorite primer, which is the professional one. You guys, if you do makeup or you watch Beauty Gurus, this is a big popular fan favorite. Everything else in there, I do dabble in occasionally, mainly these little samples. I'm a big sucker for MAC cosmetic samples. This is their strobe cream and skin base visage. Uh, I do actually want to buy a full version of the strobe cream. Everything else, I just have there in case I want to use it. Let's tidy this on up. So I'm gonna move this out of the way and I'm gonna 
empty these little acrylic boxes. Now, I'm sure some of you are going to ask, where do you get these from? I believe that I bought these little acrylic boxes from Muji. They do have an online store, just search acrylic, but they're really easy to get hold of. I'm sure you can get them on Amazon as well. But I just like to have little containers to organise things in. So let's pop those in. Uh, this is a bit random, to be honest. It's a nail file kit. It doesn't really belong in there. And this, haven't used it yet, it's Gel Rehab. Now, I use a lot of false nails, as you guys know by now, and my nails are ruined, so probably should use this a little bit more often. So I'm gonna put all of my primers in here and all of my kind of foundations and concealers in here. I don't know if I need this, actually. This is by The Body Shop. It's probably completely expired. Um, <laughs> this, uh, yeah, 12 months from opening. I've definitely had this from at least 2016. I should probably get rid of it. I don't even know if they still make this anymore. Uh, this is a lightening fluid. So if you have a foundation which isn't your shade, you can add a few drops of this to it and make it lighter. You can also get the darkening drops as well. But I think I'm going to have to say goodbye to that because... <laughs> I, it's too old. That's disgusting. Okay then, on to the next draw. Ah, oh, okay. This is perhaps my biggest draw of shame. I have seen worse on the internet, so it does make me feel a little bit better about it, to be honest. Uh, this is where all my lip products go to die. Uh, <laughs> I do have favourites in here. This used to be organised. Granted, it's not anymore. It's a complete mess. But you can kind of see what I was going for. I had all of my bullet lipsticks in here. Then I had lip glosses over here. And I used to have all of my liquid lipsticks over here. But, oh my goodness, I don't even know where to start. This certainly shouldn't be open. Open. This is something my best friend bought for me. This is a sloth lip thing. It, it's like a little lip balm. It smells like mint and I couldn't get rid of it. Looks like a sloth. Very cute. Anyway, let's have a look. So what are my favourite things in this drawer? Now, one of my all-time favourites, I, I keep the boxes for Jeffree Star's liquid lips because how could you not? It's just very satisfying. This is one of my most worn liquid lipsticks and it is in shade celebrity skin i have had many questions when like wh what are you wearing on your lips wallace what are you wearing um most of the time it is this so this is what it looks like it's just a very nice kind of nudie shade it's really perfect for me really enjoy it we'll be repurchasing that uh, but yeah that lives in there now i did purchase another jeffree star lipstick and it was this one. I haven't been brave enough to wear it yet, but I thought it was so beautiful. Your girl needed it. So this is in shade Dreamhouse. So it's kind of like a Barbie Dreamhouse. I'm pretty sure that's what it was going for. And this one is so pink. Oh my goodness. It's, oh, it's reflective. Oh, see this kind of stuff. This is why makeup thrills me because just look at that. Beautiful. Need to find some confidence to wear it. But those are my two Jeffree Star liquid lips. I really want to purchase more. I don't know why I haven't, to be honest. It's, well, I do. This is why I haven't, because I have one mouth, one pair of lips, and this is ridiculous. I know. Okay, so I have a lot of these Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks. Now, again, full disclosure, these were sent to me. I haven't purchased these, but I have actually used quite a lot of these. So how many of these do I have? I have quite a few somewhere i actually i swear i have more than this uh i don't know things have probably gone into handbags haven't they here's one uh oh okay so i had a big range of their pink ones i do have more than this i honestly don't know where they've gone maybe we'll find some now the one that i use mostly out of these is this one it's i just really like these natural kind of nude shades and look at that doe foot all about that yeah it's quite similar to celebrity skin a little bit darker to be honest but they're just really nice and they stay on your lips for ages hence why they're called super stay but i will be keeping all of those because they're not old i think i've only had these within the last year and some of them i haven't even used yet Okay, what other liquid lipsticks do I really, really like? These were a fun one, actually. I was sent a few of these as well. These are by The Balm. I enjoy these as well, mainly the nude ones. There's a theme here. I really like nudes. Now, I'm thinking, I'm sure some of you are thinking, Cherry, they all look the same. 
yes they do but i don't like throwing things out that i enjoy so hey ho this <laughs> i'm sure some of you are like whoa that's a little bit out there have worn this a few times this is a nyx liquid suede and this is in shade uh oh what are you called sway or emprise this is so purple again you need to have a little bit of confidence to wear something like this look at that it's insane that's one of my faves even though i don't wear it very often i just like to think about it a lot <laughs> now bullet lipsticks ones that i could recommend to you my classic in fact my first lipstick that i ever bought was this one well not the first lipstick i've ever bought because obviously that would have been like decades old but this is something that i do tend to repurchase haven't used this for a while probably is a little bit too old though but I don't want to get rid of it. This is in shade Russian Red. If you want that classic red lip, this is the one that I recommend. It is perfect. It is absolutely beautiful, that perfect pillar box. So that is my recommendation for the bullet lipsticks. Now I do obviously have a lot of other ones in here. We've got some exclusive ones in here. I think this was part of the Alice in Wonderland collection. And this is in shade Erasabeth. How do you say that? probably completely got that name wrong but either way this is another urban decay one right here oh i haven't used this yet look at how beautiful this one is in shade disturbed yeah it's not oh don't you just love it when you get lipsticks and they've got that kind of indentation of their brand on that very beautiful uh this is a autumn vampy look saving that might use it this year really like the packaging super beautiful uh those are a bit of fun is there anything interesting in here we've got another urban decay one here which i have actually used this a few times in videos this is in shade ready and it's a metalized one and it's so glittery oh See, this is why I've got a problem with lip products. I don't want to get rid of any of them because they're really satisfying, really satisfying. This was something that one of you guys gifted me. This is a lip tint. Haven't used it yet, but it's Cherry Bomb. Thank you for that. I think it was Louisa that sent that to me. Something that I like to do is look after my lips and I've recently been enjoying the Body Shop Born Lippy because now, if you're on my channel, you should know by now, I'm obsessed with oranges. Yep, I know. This is really nice. I've been using it a lot over the last couple of weeks. This was sent to me by one of you guys as well. Thank you for feeding my makeup addiction. Really, really lovely. It tastes and smells delicious. It makes me want to eat the whole thing. I've also got a few things from Zoella in here, her ColourPop collection. I actually really enjoy her lip liners. Speaking of uh, lip liners, you know what? I splashed out not so long ago on this. This wasn't cheap considering it's just the pencil that you put on your lips. This is by MAC Cosmetics in shade Spice and I bought it in a kind of nudie colour because as you can see your girl loves her nudes. This goes with most of them so I sometimes push the boat out and line my lips. Most of the time I don't. I'm a little bit lazy but never mind. Uh, anything else in here? I actually really do enjoy... Oh another lipstick here. That's uh a Mirana one that is from the I think it's Alice in Wonderland collection either way uh, these ones are great I got these in an advent calendar and they're full size they're the wet and wild liquid cat suit big fan they're actually really nice would purchase more of these in different shades so they're cool now something that I can get rid of I know that this is a decluttering there is definitely some things in here that I just don't need oh I'm gonna be judged so bad I was sent these uh, a few years ago. I love Too Faced and I love peaches. I just hate lip glosses. Cherry, you hate lip glosses? Yeah, I've got a lot of them. Didn't purchase them. They were just sent to me and I didn't want to get rid of them. These are the Too Faced Sweet Peach Glosses. They're just so pretty. I love the packaging and they smell like peaches. I don't really want to get rid of them, but they are brand new. Um, nice if i like see what if i need a day where it's like oh cherry you need to wear a lip gloss then i've got these so i don't know i might keep them for now ah oh, this is hard why is it hard this here is my first liquid lipstick that i bought in america this is kat von d uh this is quite old now and to be honest she's an anti-vac supporter so 
we're not going to support Kat Von D anymore. Other things that I can get rid of. Oh, tea. Sip your tea. This I probably don't need anymore. This is a soap and glory. I've got quite a lot of these little pencils. <sighs> oh, you are old. Lip love. Did really like this. This is Urban Decay Rehab Makeup Prep. This is actually really good, but it is quite old, so I think I might say goodbye to her as well. Right, I'm just gonna crack on and organize. Oh God, I need to organize them into sections. I think I'm actually going to get rid of, I mean, look, they've congealed, they've separated. I just didn't want to get rid of them, but I don't wear lip glosses. There's no point. There's literally no point. Okay, we're saying goodbye to those. This one's quite new though, uh, but, I have the Jeffree Star one that's probably a lot better than that. Yep, that can go. Goodbye. <gasps> oh, these are good. This is something else that I use on a regular basis for all of those people that are like, Cherry, what, what are you wearing? It's usually celebrity skin. One of these or this. This is by Sleek Makeup, one of my favorite high street brands, very affordable. This is their Matte Me Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream. It's another nude, you guys know, look. Oh no, it's slightly more pinker. Oh, that just glides on. That is like very satisfying. So if you're wearing something slightly pinker, it's probably this. Really like that. You can stay. Also have quite a lot of these NYX lip lingerie. Big fan. Oh, another liquid catsuit. Okay. We've got a, oh, what are you, bourgeois? Wow, I really do have things that are like all the same colours. I'm not sorry, they're all different, I like them. Makeup lovers understand my pain. And to be honest, I don't even consider myself to have a massive makeup collection. To some people that I've seen online, just saying. I think I'm quite well behaved, if you ask me. See, I always want to keep stuff like this because it's like, oh, that's a good summer holiday colour. Look at that, popping. Yeah, I'm keeping that. Not that your girl goes on many summer holidays, lol. I don't use this much anymore, but at the time, I really enjoyed it. It's called Dr. Lip. Now, some of you may laugh right now. This is nipple balm. Now, it can be used when you're a mother, but also it's one of those multi-use balms and it is fantastic for dry skin, including, well, dry lips, I should say. It says for dry, well, no, dry skin, luscious lips and glossy bits. Uh, yeah, really good, do recommend this, actually, so might start using that though, it's a little bit old. Might, might get a new one. Yeah, I'm gonna get a new one. So SPF lip balm, treat yourself, look after your face, you've only got one. More lipsticks, oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, got another Kat Von D product. Oh, it's cute. She's a dickhead though, so no, I'm good. Okay, ooh, hello. A bright pink. This is called Impassioned. This is nice. This one I know that I've had for a few years, but I don't want to get rid of it. I feel like it's such a waste. These are meant to be open for, what is it, 12 months or something? It doesn't say. But I'm pretty sure lipsticks are 12 months. Maybe a little bit longer. But it's such a waste. And they're only going on my mouth. I'm keeping it. Don't care. They're expensive. These are like £17 each. It's ridiculous. Oh, <laughs> now this is something I would like to show you. I bought one of these for myself and my best friend. It's, <laughs> it was one of those things that the internet made me buy. This, I can't even pronounce it, but it's a lipstick that if you press the end, boop, it pops out. How satisfying is that? But not only that, when you open it and you twist it up, oh, <gasps> It's got a flower inside, look at that. Do you remember when all these people, oh, and it's color changing, so when I swatch it, it'll turn pink, which is pretty cool, not gonna lie. Um, these are the lipsticks that people used to cut up in YouTube videos. Am I gonna do that for something that I spent about 20 pounds on? No, but that's just a memory thing. Don't really use it, but I like it. <gasps> Ooh, another lip liner. Forgot that you existed. Oh my god, kill me. Ooh! Where have all these lip liners come from? I swear I only bought one, but like... This one can go. This one is from Primark. It's part of their nude range. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's not too bad, actually. I've seen worse. I'll keep it for now. Got a little cherry lip balm. A little sloth one that we saw earlier. These I've kept for Halloween, to be honest. They're like really... This one's even called Ultra Vamp. And one of these is like a really dark grey in case you want to look a little bit dead. Yeah, those are sticking around for Halloween. Not really use those. 
kept these. These were sent to me in a PR packet by Soap and Glory. Oh my gosh, you wait till you see these. You're gonna be shooketh to your core. These are so beautiful. Oh my goodness, honestly. Get onto my spoolie. Oh, they're just oh, so reflective. So, haven't worn them yet. I hate lip gloss, but they're so beautiful. I gave some of them away to a friend, but oh, come on. How could you, how could you get rid of that? It's glorious. Okay, time for me to organize. Oh my God. No one needs this many lip products. Let's move on to another drawer, shall we? That was traumatic. Okay then, drawer number three. Now, this one does look a little bit empty, but that's because I did have a clear out before I moved house, but as you can see, it's already a massive mess. But let's talk about the products that I really enjoy out of this drawer. Now, I think my go-tos went, in fact, Let's talk about brows. There's a few brow products in here that I do use. Now, this is, oh, the holy grail. Now, this is the one that I used before I dyed my hair ginger or orange. This is the Sleek Makeup Brow Kit. And you, oh, wow, it's so loved. Um, this is a wax here and a powder here. And I'm one of those people that do use these little tiny things in the brow kits, only the brow kits. I won't be using any of those sponge eyeshadow applicators. Oh no, no, no. So uh, for the wing, in fact, I'm gonna do a makeup routine for you soon, but I use the wax for the really sharp wing of my eyebrow and then fill it in with that and I use a pencil as well, but I'll show you another time. But that's, that's kind of not in use at the moment because my hair's the wrong color, but I'm saving it for, Eventually, I will go back to brown, spoilers. This is one that I bought for the orange kind of, it's not orange, it's actually for blonde people. I do still use this and then I will fill it, fill my eyebrows in with orange eyeshadow. For everyone that's saying, oh my God, what, eye, what eyebrow products do you use now that you've got orange hair? Just eyeshadow because they don't really make orange eyebrow products. <laughs> so yeah, this is great. If you like strong eyebrow games, this is high street as well, it's sleek, it's uh, nice and affordable. Now, what else in here do I use a lot? I really enjoy, <laughs> you can see that I really enjoy this. You can see how much I have loved this. This is a highlighting palette. I do have others, but these are the ones that I go to. This one in particular is the one that I go for. This is the highlighting palette Midas Touch, and it has four shades in there. The ones that I use the most, are these here. I really like this icy white one. And because I enjoyed that so much, I did get another one, which I tend to use in the summer a little bit more because it's a little bit more bronze goddess. Um, you can see there, I've swiped a nail through it. Hate it when that happens. I also really don't like the cream that you get in these. I think it's a little bit pointless, but never mind. This is the one that I go for the most. But those are my favorite highlighters, which is weird because they're so like accessible and high street, but I do have some higher end ones. This is one of my favorite MAC highlighters and this is Lightscapade. I've had this for a very long time. Isn't it beautiful? Yes it is. Look at that, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Nice and subtle, but oh well, is it subtle? Probably not. Mm, yes. Do enjoy that, recommend this. I'm sure they still do it. I think it's one of their popular products. I also bought this when I was in America because I, oh, that'd be good, because I enjoyed that. This is the Pink Buttercream Pearl Matte Face Powder. Oh, it's a bit of a novelty, really. Haven't really used it that much. Never really grabbed for it, but I paid for it. I mean, look, it doesn't, it doesn't really do much. Keep it though, because it's MAC. Um, other favorite blush, oh, my blushes are in here as well. In fact, I'm getting ahead of myself. Got some liquid highlighters down here. Honestly, I don't care much for liquid highlighters, even though they're absolutely stunning when you put them on. They don't really work very well over 
foundation that you set obviously but mm, so beautiful don't want to get rid of those uh, and I bought this one as well this packaging is very satisfying this is a liquid chrome highlighter drop again don't really use it but I think in the summer when I'm not really using foundation very much or on holiday these are perfect for holiday in fact I'm pretty sure that's why I bought it last year oh look at that it's like liquid molten gold delicious now Bronzing. I only use two things for bronzing and those are the Benefit Hula. This one is personalised which is pretty cool. So the Benefit Hula bronzers, this is the standard one, this is the Hula Light. I go between, Doesn't it depends what I'm feeling really, they're just little, there you go, got a little mirror, little brush. Love those. I've also got the Dandelion Twinkle, which is like a little highlighty thingamadoodle. Yes, technical terms. I've just got a lot of benefit things in here, really. Too Faced, I bought this from Sephora when I first went to America. I love blusher. You either love blusher or you don't. I personally wear it every time I do makeup. I go between this Too Faced one or this Tarte one is really nice as well. That's quite well loved. And one that I really like but it's a little bit out there. This was one of my first high-end blushes that I bought because I loved the packaging. And look at that, stunning. Love, love, love. Very pink. Hmm, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, big fan of blusher as long as you don't go too over the top. Or do, you do you, doesn't really matter. Oh, that's not been used. That's a wet and wild one. I've got another Too Faced one here. Hourglass, this is another favorite of mine. I bought, I believe I bought this in America as well. You can see I have used quite a lot of it. There's a big dip in the middle. And there's a new Benefit Browsings, not used yet. That's pretty much it. Let's get to tidying. Okay, so I only have one organizing tray in here and I do like to keep my blushes and highlighter, all of the kind of round things like this. I like to just keep them together and I'll try and order them from most used to least used. That can go at the back. <laughs> Though I do quite like the MAC ones together. Hmm, they can stay there for now. So those are like highlighters. So I guess I'll grab my other highlighters and then just, oh, here's, here's a cheeky highlighter boy hiding. Ooh. And then just crack on with the rest, I guess. Oh, that can go. That's so old. That's gross. Okay, I have organised this so that I can see every single product that I have. Nice and organised. Let's move on to the next drawer. Next drawer then. Okay. Don't really know what to call this drawer. This drawer is a mishmash of things that don't really have homes. So uh, these are the false eyelashes that I wear. A lot of people ask what lashes I wear. These are so cheap. They're like maybe six pounds for 12, no, 10. <laughs> Can I count maths with Cherry? Uh, yeah, these are from Amazon. They're super cheap and I just cut them to size. They're quite kind of glam, they're quite hardcore, but really, really pretty. So I always end up repurchasing these. I dread to think how many lashes that I've been through. So those are the ones that I use. Uh, I might even leave the link for these down below because just to help you with your searches. Now, I do have other lashes, I have a little box of them. I got these from iMats. I have used quite a lot of these in my 2016 Halloween makeup tutorial series, but I don't really like, I do, I do reuse lashes when they're A, quite expensive, and B, when they look this nice, but I hate getting the glue off. If any of you guys have tips on how to make these less trashy after you've worn them, but yeah, so those are those, lots of lashes. I've even got more lashes here. Uh, ew, lovely, disgusting. Oh, we got another one here. They look like little caterpillars. I am so gross. So these are Benefit lashes. Again, super nice, have worn them. Ah, oh, I might get rid of them. I never go back to these kind of lashes. I tend to just stick with those ones. Might say goodbye. I'll keep them for now. But yeah, so those are all of my false eyelashes. I used to, I used to not film unless I was wearing lashes, but you'll notice recently 
just don't bother a lot of the time unless I'm feeling a little bit fancy but 90% of the time I don't wear lashes but when I do it's these. So what else is in this drawer? I have got a little plastic organizer filled with contact lenses. Now these are unopened. These are... <laughs> I used to be really scared of putting contact lenses in until I did that series. Go check them out if you haven't seen. I did so many makeup tutorials in 2016. I did like The Devil, Alice in Wonderland, Harley Quinn. Really enjoyed doing that. But yeah, I bought a lot of these contact lenses. So I have many of them. There's some green ones in here. There's some blind ones in here. They cover your iris and your pupil. So you can just about see. They look like little grids. So you will be able to see through them, just not very well. Haven't been brave enough to wear these. Haven't done a makeup look that has required these yet but they're in there so these contact lenses are by Pinky Paradise they are where I get all of my kind of makeup tutorially uh what would you call them basically any Halloween look that needs contact lenses I will get them from Pinky Paradise and I will get them with a non-prescription even though I do wear glasses I don't need them I always get the non ones they're really comfortable and I still have a little bit of an eye phobia when it comes to contacts but it's okay, I can apply them now. I think taking them out is the worst part, especially when you've got nails. So I have a lot of these little contact lens cases. These come with your lenses when you buy them. So that's where those live. I don't really use those. That's why they live in the back of here. Now, the rest of this drawer. There is a lot of random things in here. These are my loose eyeshadows, my singular eyeshadows, including the liquid eyeshadows. I haven't used these that much. I've used them a couple of times, but they are really good. These are by Wet n Wild. They are the liquid catsuit liquid eyeshadows. Um, I think most of these are... Yeah, I've also got a NYX lingerie one. I've got a few from the ColourPop collection by Zoella. These are really beautiful. She chose her colours very well. So I like those. Uh, I won't lie. I do forget that they're in here. This is a drawer that I don't really enter that often unless I'm getting those out. I have got some kind of loose pigment here from Lush. This was one of my first makeup products that I got from Lush. I don't really use a lot of their makeup, but this was very pretty. I bought this years ago. Really nice. I've got quite a few Kiko shadows that I have purchased myself. These are really nice. Uh, I think I actually bought these when I forgot a makeup bag one time and these are the colours that I came away with. I've also got some other Kiko ones down here. These are very affordable actually. Oh my goodness, that's why I bought that one. Oh, it's so satisfying and you can just shove your finger in. Oh, it just feels very nice. Look at that, beautiful. I do like golden. It's very nice for when it's sunny. And I also got another one like that. Oh, beautiful. Oh my goodness, look so so satisfying i need to use these more they are stunning oh i could use that one as a highlight you know very pretty uh so those are the kiko i have a nars eyeshadow as well i don't have too much of nars even though it is very good that's just a kind of kind of khaki nude if you like <laughs> i've actually got pigments in here from when i first ever started playing with makeup these are the barry m dazzle dusts i've got <laughs> you can tell that my makeup has changed look we've got a fluorescent pink one a neon green yes i used to rock this one so much and i also have a red oh i've got another one down here these are the colors that I, I just didn't care about what i looked like i really liked being kind of out there and everything looking really cool so haven't used these for years but it's a bit of a memory thing i've also got some wet and wild things down here these color tattoos i think i'm gonna get rid of they're so old and they kind of dry up after a little while, don't they? Oh, they are very pretty though, but I tend not to use them that often. You can use them on their own or you can use them as an eyeshadow base, but honestly, I don't really go for them and I've had these for years, so they're probably a bit minging now, so I might get rid of those. Now, let's talk about my favorite singular eyeshadows. Urban Decay, stunning. Um, this one is in shade Intergalactic. It's absolutely beautiful. Really, really pretty. In fact, I swear I had, oh, I do. This one's my favorite. I bought two of these. This one is called Space Cowboy and it's, oh, look, it's like, mm, mm, mm. you can see that I've enjoyed this one. I've got makeup all over my hands. It's disgusting, but mm, 
it's just really glittery really really glittery it's really beautiful it's kind of got that wet look very nice definitely recommend the urban decay singular eyeshadows and i've got some of these which are by a korean company i think i have about three of those they're by the beauty people and they are oh, these are actually stunning i'm gonna say that about all of my makeup look at that at, oh, i need a clean finger okay right let me just show you how pretty these are Ah, oh, look, look, the sun is shining out of my hand. It's absolutely beautiful. I need to use these more because they are absolutely gorgeous. Right, there's not much to organize here, but let's get organizing. Tell you what, I need some organizers for this drawer, but I don't have any, so I'm gonna just go ahead and do my best. So we'll have the liquid ones down here and just, just see how it goes. something that I didn't mention. I bought this years ago, many moons ago, back in my youth. This is a MAC Cosmetics eyeshadow quad and it's because I really like smoky eye. Some would say, at least people that I went to school with, some would say I was a bit of a goth, a bit of a, a, bit of a grebo and I loved black makeup and uh, eyeshadow is just oh it's beautiful look at those little domes look at them really really pretty that lives in here doesn't really have a home love the packaging big fan I have done the best that I can without any organizers in here. I've put the things that I use the most at the front along with the liquid eyeshadows and my lashes at the back and my contact lenses at the back because just don't use them. Let's go to the next drawer. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't even know what to say about this drawer. Oh my goodness. Yeah, where do I start with this drawer? Okay, uh, these are a lot of the kind of the long things. I know, technical. So we've got brow things in here. We've got liquid eyeliners. We've got normal eyeliners like the coal pencils. A lot of brow products. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is from my Gryffindor sword. How very on brand. This is, I just couldn't be bothered to put this on. I thought it was a little bit ugly. It ruins the sword, but love to the rest of it. So I took it off. That can go um, somewhere safe. So yeah, these are all the kind of pencil products and here are all of my <sighs> mascaras. Have a mascara problem. These are my nail glue. Oh wow, everything is such a mess in here. This is why we need to organize. And a lot of my nail polish, in fact, all of my nail polishes that I use. Now, for a very long time, I used to paint my nails. I do tend to just buy them now and stick them on, but I should probably start using these because they are really, really pretty. And yeah, oh, so many nail glues. I've got a problem. Okay, let's start by telling you some of my favorite products in this mess of a drawer. So eye pencils, not eye pencils, eyebrow pencils. I discussed some of my eyebrow products earlier with the Sleek Makeup Brow Kit and I also use these. So this is a Precisely My Brow Pencil. Again, haven't really been using these very much with my orange hair, but before that, I wouldn't do my brows without them. So this is a simple pencil, like so. I would line my eyebrows, kind of like I'm doing now. I would line them, and then I'll do the waxy part at the end, so it was like really, really pointy, and then I'll fill the rest of the brow in with the eyeshadow, so. Great little mini improv tutorial right there. I have quite a few of these because I use them so much. Uh, I don't even know how many I have. These are by Benefit, by the way. Uh, I've got quite a few of their products. A lot of these were gifted. I have repurchased these myself as well. Do I use all of this? No, but I know that there'll be a, come a point where it's like, oh, I really wish that I had that. Uh, so I do tend to keep a lot of things, especially pencils. They don't really expire, do they? Do you expire? 12 months, damn, I've been living a lie. Never mind. So, ooh, we've got a new, okay, eyeliner. I wear it in all my videos. I love liquid eyeliner. This is the one that I use 
all the time. This is NYX matte liquid liner. Sometimes I can go for the vinyl one as well, but I do quite like the matte look. I have used this. I've just kept it in its box because I have a lot of them in here and I didn't want to mix up which was the new one. So if you're after a new liquid eyeliner, NYX high street and affordable. Uh, nail glue. This is what I get. Wow, I do not need all of these. This is embarrassing. Look how many nail glues. These are not cheap either. They're like six to eight pounds each. It's so silly. Yeah, these are what I glue my nails on with. These are probably completely dead now. Yeah, are you dead? I'm gonna keep this one. There's a little bit left in there. These can go in the bin. So in the middle here is where I keep my tools. So I've got, wow, this is such a mess. I have got my eyelash curlers. I do like to give a little curl. My eyelash glue. Now this is the eyelash glue that I recommend if you do wear falsies. It is clear, it is not latex, and it just sticks really beautifully. This is the one I always go back to. So Benefit Lash Glue, 100% recommended. I've also got tweezers in here, nail files, little spoolies for when I ruin mascara and get it on my face. If you let it dry and then kind of brush the mascara off, it means that it'll come up nice and easily and you won't ruin your face, which is very nice. So yep, always use these. Cannot do my makeup without cotton buds, so I always keep a lot in there. What is it? Oh, another lash glue. That's how much I like it. I've also got some nail files at the back there and all of these are nail varnishes. I don't really know what to do with this drawer. It's not too unorganized as it is. I don't really want to throw much of this out as I do use most of it. What are you, a brow setter? I won't lie. This was sent to me and I haven't used it much, but I like the idea of a brow setter. So I've kept it and the packaging is glorious. Go benefit. I think this drawer is not going to take very long. I think I'm just going to do this bit, that bit, maybe have a little look for my nail varnishes to see if any of them have expired. I don't think they have. It wasn't long ago that I chucked a lot of stuff out. So let's just give it a little bit of a refresh. So mascaras. <laughs> I only have one set of lashes. Do I use all of these? Honestly, yes I do. And that's because I rotate. Have some of these expired? Probably. But let's go through them. Let's take these cotton buds out that have, or Q-tips, if you're American, we call them cotton buds over here. Let's see which ones that I could live without. So I think my favorite mascara, the one that I usually go for, in fact, I use two every time I do my makeup. I use one mascara for my top lashes, and then I will use another mascara for my bottom lashes. So the bottom lashes, I tend to use two. I go between the Benefit Roller Lash for the bottom ones, and also this Wet n Wild Skinny Mascara. This one is perfect for bottom lashes because the spoolie is so thin. So I'm definitely keeping those. Those are quite new to the collection. Other ones that are new in here is this one and this one. I got these around Christmas time. How funky is this packaging from Wet n Wild? So these are new. Don't really want to get rid of those. In fact, I don't really want to get rid of anything in here that's really bad. I probably should. This one looks a bit manky, doesn't it? This is the Bad Girl Bang. Only got this a few months ago, so that's still good. Nobody needs this many mascaras. I am already aware of this, but yeah, I've also got an Urban Decay Troublemaker. Mm, good packaging. Really nice. Spoolie. Not the biggest fan of, but it's new. Oh, don't want to get rid of. Thick and fast. I'm not very good at decluttering, am I? And tidying. This should be called makeup tidying, which I guess is what I'm doing still. Yeah, these are all still fine. This is a roller liner in brown. Um, oh, girl, that is some good product. I was not, ex I haven't used this. This I got sent and I just popped it in here. That's actually really good. Cool. Okay, she can go in there. This one, hmm, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, hmm. Yeah, this one's a bit goopy and probably the oldest one. Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, that's a nice noise, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, you know what? I am gonna keep all of these because I do rotate. I don't just use one mascara, I rotate. Most of these have been into my collection within the last year. So, I mean, some of the, I know some of these are like, oh, you can only use it for six months. What a waste. Uh, it's only going onto my eyes. Haven't had an eye infection. It's probably the bad, I, I got rid of some. I got rid of loads of Benefit mascaras in February. So, <sighs> 
you know what no i'll get rid of one i'll get rid of this one because it looks a little bit manky okay let's put them back in cute okay let's take a look at this is such a mess it's it's like offending me okay so tweezers every girl should have some tweezers pick your pick your pluck your pluck your eyebrows some of these are a bit naff to be honest but we keep them anyway these ones don't really work very well I don't really know why I've got them but until I replace them with some precision tweezers they're staying for now the one nail glue that I have kept this doesn't fit in the drawer, so that's why it's in there. A sharpener for all of these pencils, always good to have, different sizes as well. A little nail file I've got. These are the kind of extra bits to my, wow, look how disgustingly dirty they are. Shame on me. These are extra bits for eyelash curlers because these little rubber boys tend to wear out so those stay in there little spoolies got so i mean these are a bit useless aren't they tiny tweezers they can go more lash glue a label that can definitely disappear some spoolies and i bought this thinking oh that'll be fun to get some blackheads out or something terrible tool but i'll keep it anyway so yeah that's that little section nothing too exciting there Okay then, now, I am aware that I do want everything in here, but it does look a little bit messy, so it could be tidied up a little bit. Let's kind of section everything. So we've got the eyebrow pencils, eyebrow things, eyeliners. This is cute, actually. This was sent to me. This is a Rimmel product. It's called Ink Me, and it's a stamp tattoo. I have no idea when I would wear this or when I'd even want to use it, but it, I do quite like the... Oh, look, little love hearts. Very adorable. I liked the novelty of it. Very sweet, yes. Now, I've got some really wild colours eyeliners. This was the Jean-Michel Basquiat. I've probably ruined, murdered that name. But yeah, that collection by Urban Decay have used all of those so they're cool so we like a good pencil yep also if you cannot afford the benefit precisely my brow pencil i'm aware it's high end these are quite pricey if you'd like a dupe for those my recommendation would be the nyx micro brow pencil they're pretty much the same to be honest i used these for a very long time until i ended up with that many of those so yeah these are great high street nice cheap alternative now i've got some hidden sparkle down here and some hidden jazzy things oh there's just so much stuff in here it's outrageous i am a big fan of glitter eyeliners i don't wear them as much as i would like to this one is a peel off liner so once you've applied it to your eyes and you've been wearing it for a while it will dry and you can kind of pick up the corner and then peel it off very satisfying let me tell you i like that Too faced did that so that was fun and then i've got a little nyx one here which is a liquid crystal liner and i've also got a urban decay heavy metal huge fan of these i used to have these back in the day when they first kind of bought them out really nice you know what i'm gonna start wearing more glitters so watch out everybody Okay, I think most of these things are pencils. Got some more eyeliners there. Another liner. This is, I don't even know what you are. What are you? Oh, this is a brow tattoo. I did try this once. It's really bizarre. So you kind of paint this over your brows. I'm not going to do it on my hand because it will stain. But it looks like this. It's kind of like tar. And you put it over your eyebrows. Feels really wrong when you're doing that. When you're putting this over your brows. Because it's like, oh... I'm going to wax my eyebrows off and it's going to pull all the hairs out wrong. It does simply peel off and your brows are just tinted. It's quite cool. I've only used it once. I might try it again, you know, but for the first time, it did work quite nicely. So maybe have a play with that if you're feeling adventurous with your brows. A lot of these are just pencils. So yeah, I'm, I'm just going to leave most things. I'm going to try and put my liners over here and then my brow stuff on top. Oh, <laughs> I was saying I had too many. I've got another one. There we go. Okay then, so moving on to my 
nail polishes and all of the escaped cotton buds get back in there okay now a lot of these I have recently sorted through so I might just leave them where they are but my favorites let's talk about some of my favorites I really do like Essie again quite expensive if you can't kind of stretch towards Essie prices the other brand that I do recommend is Rimmel Rimmel's a really nice alternative this is what I used for years as a teenager all I would use is Rimmel most I mean I've got quite a lot of colors I've got some yellows some yellows some blues purples a lot of pinks a lot of nudes I am one of these people that change color you should see my wardrobe it's color coordinated and it's rainbow I like to kind of color coordinate my nails my makeup and what I'm wearing you might have noticed from some of my previous videos if not all of my videos to be honest but yeah that's where they all live I don't really yeah that they can stay there they're well behaved it's fine also I bought this thinking oh I need a black nail varnish I needed it for a photo shoot and I purchased this thinking great got some black nail varnish now wrong this is a Rimmel London super gel top coat it's clear it's not black like what an absolute sham that it's in a black bottle I was not impressed because then uh, I, I could have wept yep so this is not black wish it was thank you Rimmel maybe change your packaging to a clear bottle next time anyway let's put this all back in and move on to my next drawer oh my god I need muscles oh my god oh, okay my eyeshadow palettes. This drawer never stays organized because I'm constantly rotating through which palettes I use. But again, did sort these out. I'm just gonna organize them. I've got rid of all the ones that I didn't want, but I guess you can have a little bit of a nose of what palettes I use the most. So let's just move this a little bit so that I can show you some palettes. Now, one that most of you might be interested actually, this is a Storybook Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. It's their Wizardry and Witchcraft palette, which I was so happy with. I have done a video on this showing it, but I'm gonna show you anyway. So it does look like a storybook and it's very, very metallic and shiny. So yeah, it says, once upon a time, there were three sisters who never stopped believing in fairy tales and they all lived happily ever after. So let's open it on up. There is a mirror. Look at how beautiful that is. So we've got many magical shades. We've got Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw. It's not yellow, but I'm guessing kind of these are a bit Hufflepuffy. Very nice colour though. Mm, yes. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I have used this, but I don't want to hit pan on these. So this is more of a kind of keepsake. It's magical. I really like it but I don't end up using it, but can't get rid of it. Look at it. What else is in here then? So something that I will discuss actually is the Born to Run palette by Urban Decay. I use this for one reason at the moment, and that is my eyebrows because I've got orange hair, as I've mentioned, and as you've seen. This is the shade, it's like Badger, Badger, Either way, this is the shade, you can tell I've used it a lot. This is a shade that I currently use to fill in my brows, but the rest of the palette is absolutely beautiful. There's a lot of metallic shades, there's a lot of neutrals and mattes. There's some kind of vibrant purpley, pinky shades like fuchsia. Really like this. I'm a huge fan of Urban Decay. They make some of my favorite palettes. Speaking of which, this one, don't use it very much, but oh, look at that. Had to get this when it came out. This is the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. I'm a Niffler. You guys know by now that I'm a huge Niffler. So this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to show you how beautiful. Pick a color, Cherry. I'm going to pick the blue one. It's so pretty. Here we go. I'm going to just do a little swatch here. See how glittery it is? very pretty I'm also going to do this one as well they're just so beautiful and as someone that's a niffler I really do appreciate all of these colors oh my god I'm just going to become a human swatch really really pretty do recommend don't use it as much as I want to I do want to and this oh this packaging one of my weaknesses is eyeshadow palettes but I have contained it to just one drawer which I personally think is very good I have also got another highlighting palette. This should go in my highlighter drawer, but I wanted to keep it with all my palettes. This is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Platinum Ice Palette, his Skin Frost Pro Palette. Oh, so pretty. If you want to glow, 
so bright. This is a very good, oh my god, I've just used the same finger, never mind. Oh, hello, really, really pretty. Love that, need to use that more as well. <laughs> this is a trend, need to use that more. I do tend to pick the same palettes. So, this one is a palette that I use all of the time. I've also got some down here that I use a lot. The Urban Decay Naked Heat palette is a favorite of mine. I love these kind of orangey burnt shades and yeah, just really like that. So that's a favorite as well. I've also got the Urban Decay Cherry palette. Now they missed a trick here. We could have collaborated. <laughs> Urban Decay, what are you doing? You put my name on something, didn't get me involved, but thank you for sending this to me. <laughs> so this is the Naked Urban Decay Cherry Palette. This is kind of like the Heat Palette, but this is cherry shades, pink hues, really nice. Actually really like the brushes that come in these palettes. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Big fan of Urban Decay. As you can tell, four of these six are that brand. What else is in here? This was one of my first palettes by Urban Decay, maybe my second actually. This is the Naked 3 palette. I didn't get the first or the second one. I just jumped straight to this one. Oh, nice little brush in there. That it didn't, didn't even come with this palette. That's for the Vice palette, which I'll show in a bit. So this is very well loved. A lot of neutrals, a lot of kind of glittery ones as well. And this one, the shade Strange, I have overused like that. It's a good kind of brow bone shade. So yeah, but I have many naked palettes. So let's move on. I've also got a Morphe palette. This is my only Morphe palette that I have. And I do have some kind of woes with this palette, annoyingly. I was bought this for Christmas. Can't open it. Ah, there we go. So I still got its little packaging on. I like to remember all of the names. So I was bought this palette for Christmas. It's great. I have used it, but I will mention this shade here, which is shade purplish, I believe. This shade stains. In fact, some of these stain. And I don't have a problem with eyeshadows that stain because I'm pretty sure some of Jeffree Star's do as well. But the difference is Jeffree has kind of told people that some of his pressed pigment eyeshadows will stain, whereas Morphe did not. I went into this thinking it was just normal eyeshadow, it wasn't going to stain, but hey-ho, maybe that was me being a little bit naive. Either way, do be careful if you buy the Morphe palettes because I had bright pink eyes, literally this colour, even though I used that. My eyes were this colour for a couple of days. Wasn't a big fan of that, but anyway. I like this palette anyway because it's rainbow and it's every colour that I could honestly desire when doing my makeup. <sighs> Let's move on then. So this is a Dermacolor Cryolan palette. Now, I bought this because, well, it's when I was doing special effects makeup back in the day, I was trying to teach myself. But this is actually fantastic, especially if you have spots or blemishes that you really want to hide. This stuff is professional kind of camouflage cream. So you would use this. You can even use this to co cover tattoos. So I could literally cover that and you wouldn't be able to tell. This is not cheap. It's not high street. But if you're into makeup or you want to be a makeup artist one day, definitely recommend getting one of these these camouflage cream palettes. Now, am I going to talk about everything else in here? Probably not. I've got a palette by Zoella. I've got some more Urban Decays. I'm not sure. Oh, that's the Vice palette. Oh, they've done two Vice palettes. Well, this is the newer one. They are on point with their packaging and that. Oh, how could I leave this out? This is my Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette. I don't have any of his other palettes apart from the highlighter one down there. Oh, it's beautiful. I really enjoy this pink that I have used quite a bit. Really like the China White shade and also Courtney. I have used all of these shades. You can see that they have been used, but my favorite shades out of this is this one, this one, and that one. Very nice. I would like to try his new eyeshadows actually. And in the back here, more Urban Decay, shocker. More Urban Decay, shocker. Some Too Faced, some The Balm, and some random Makeup Revolution and some palettes that I don't really use anymore. But let's organize this drawer. Okay then, so the way I like to organize my drawer is I like to put the palettes that I use the most. Most of them will be Urban Decay. Sometimes I like to do it by size, depends what mood I'm in, but I'm probably gonna put all of these naked ones down the front. This one is actually really nice. It's by Zoella and Colourpop. I wasn't sure what to expect. I will actually quickly show you this one. It's, I think it's still available. Um, really liked that electric blue. And I'm also a big fan of these kind of neutral shades here. So maple syrup and mimosa. And skinny latte was quite nice as well. I like these kind of browns that just look natural. So yeah, that was great. Well done, Zoe. Mm -hmm. 
one of the palettes that I didn't show you actually was the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. This is beautiful. I'm a big fan of rainbows and colour because it means that I can do a lot of different makeup looks. Look at that. It's beautiful. They've kind of got different hues of each rainbow colour. Big, big fan. Love, love, love. I also have this really tiny MAC palette, which I bought from America the first time I went. And again, I'm a niffler, really like shiny things. And this just really pleased me when I bought it. I don't use it that much. I think I did back in the day, but mm, I don't know. I feel as though I've got a lot more better glittery shades than what's in here, but I like it, we keep it. And I believe that is this drawer fully organized and neat. I can see every single palette. Some of the bigger ones had to go that like flat because they'll be too tall for the drawer. But yeah, I'm pleased with that. Let's move on. Oh! Another drawer of shame. Okay, so, oh, you know what? I'm embarrassed to tell you guys how much money I've spent on false nails. I used to buy these kits by Nailene and I used to love their oval ones, their square ones, still do, but I do tend to buy the Primark ones because they're nice and easy. But I used to spend so much money. These are about 10 pound each. And I honestly, these are just the ones that I've got in here. I must have got through about 50 or so boxes of these and that's embarrassing, isn't it? So I will keep these because of how expensive they are and I never know when I want to just paint my nails, but I know that this is not good. I know it's also terrible for the environment, but I don't think I will be repurchasing those. Right, let's have a look. So as you will see in this drawer, this is homed to some skincare, not all, most of my skincare lives in my bathroom, but this is homed to all of my makeup brushes. Don't shame me, I know that they're filthy. They are currently due, overdue a clean. So let's just take, these out, move those to one side. I've also got these. Don't think I've shown you these before. In fact, I have. I've shown them in their own their own video. So that that witchcraft and wizardry palette came with these brushes. So you can purchase wand brushes, but a lot of the time they will be before Harry Potter came out with their own, which are these, Storybook Cosmetics came out with theirs and they did get told off for using the character ones, but I did get one of the first sets when they were up for pre-order. So these are metal, they're very beautiful. You'll note that I haven't used these because they are too pretty to use. Does anyone do that? They just buy things, it's like, yeah, I really like that, but now I don't want to use it. That happens to me all of the time. So, makeup brushes in their little special Storybook Cosmetic bag. It lives in there. Maybe one day I will push the boat out and use them, who knows. So these are all of my makeup brushes. Some things that I will discuss in here. Big lover of a beauty sponge. These are the Real Technique sponges. These are the only foundation sponges that I use. I do not apply my foundation with brushes. Love these, I've got a few other sponges down there. Filthy, I know, I really like Real Techniques. Look how old this brush is. Your girl needs to replace it. I've also got some authentic, official is the word I should use, some official wand brushes that were in boots by actual Harry Potter people. So there's quite a few of these in here and I do use these because, well, I just do. I was like, well, I've got two sets of one brushes. I can save the nice ones and use these ones, though these are nice as well. They're rose gold. Most of my brushes are Real Techniques. Any that look like this are Real Techniques. I've also got quite a lot of Morphe brushes. These are my new favorite. I had never used a Morphe brush until Christmas time, I believe. Big, big fan of those. These are just glorious. You can see the bright colours of eyeshadow that I like to use. So huge fan of those. Most of the others, some of the, you know, I've still got brushes from kits that I bought years ago when you can get like 100 makeup brushes for like a tenner off eBay and they were really terrible quality, but I do actually still use some of those. Take from that what you will. Makeup brushes, that I'm not really going to organise these right now because as you can see, they are absolutely filthy. Need a good bath. I use the Style Brush Pro. Style Pro. Is it called a Style Pro? Style Pro. It's this little bowl that looks like a fish bowl and you put these kind of little suckers on the end of the brush. It's got this little electric motor thing. You dunk it in your 
water stuff, makeup remover, technical, I know. And it will literally clean each brush in 30 seconds. So if you hate cleaning your brushes, check out the Style Pro. I will leave a link down below. That rhymed, let's move on. Okay, so in here, what have we got? Micellar water, used to be a huge fan of this. Honestly, still am a huge fan of this, but I don't have any makeup pads. I am gonna be honest with you here, I used makeup wipes for quite a while because I was really lazy, but over the last month, few weeks, I have thrown, well, I haven't thrown them out, but I have stopped using makeup wipes on my face. I will not ever be removing makeup off my face with a makeup wipe ever again. Really bad for the environment, especially those idiots that flush them down the toilet. Do not do that if you have makeup wipes. Put them in the bin. Even then, they're really hard to biodegrade. So, micellar water is great, but I have started using other skincare products and flannels that I can wash and reuse. But those are a nice little takeaway with you in case you can't be bothered to take stuff abroad. This is brand new to my collection. It is glorious. It's the Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Treatment Lotion Mist. It smells like oranges and it refreshes your face. Really lovely and big fan of this brand. And I also have the moisturizer, which does normally live in here, currently in my bathroom with the rest of my skincare. In here, oh, this was a treat yourself moment. This was a treat yourself moment indeed. I had seen a lot of hype around this Glam Glow face mask. It's their glitter mask, this one. I'll show you what it looks like. These are not cheap. <laughs> It looks like the Disney floor. These cost around 40 pounds, I believe, but you do get a lot of use out of it. My face loves these face masks so much and I get to look cute whilst I'm doing it. So yeah, really fun. You have to apply with a brush, which will be in there somewhere. Luxury, a little bit of a treat yourself. This, I think I might get rid of. It's, it's full though. It's a Body Shop Japanese Matcha Tea Pollution Clearing Mask. I am a big fan of the peelable masks. I don't really like masks that you have to wash off because it's just so much effort. Just let me peel it off my face. Yeah, so, I mean, it is, can I even open this? Oh, there you go. Have used it once or twice. It does smell nice, and no, I'm keeping that. It smells good, that's why I kept it. it smells good. Okay, in here. This is the Amazonian multi-purpose balm. Fantastic if you get tattoos. I have got one, two, three tattoos. When I got this tattoo, I used this and honestly, it did wonders. This also makes your tattoos look refreshed. I can show you now. So you just take some of this balm. So you can use this whilst your tattoos are healing as well. But on old tattoos, if you put some of this balm on, it just makes them look a little bit more vibrant makes them look a little bit more, they, it makes them pop a little bit. It looks a bit nicer, doesn't it? So yeah, big fan of that. And again, multi-purpose balm. Every girl should have one. This is a bit trashy, isn't it? I've um, opened a sample and just left it in my drawer. That can go in the bin. Another sample that I've not used yet. This is the Out of Trouble 10 Minute Mask. Ooh. I might use that soon. Okay, there is other samples in here. We've got some Glam Glow samples. This is another Glam Glow that I really enjoy. I want to buy the big pot of that, really good. This is a super mud clearing treatment, grand. This is my setting spray. Every time I do my makeup to film and I've got everything in place, you don't want that to move. No, no, no. So I use the Urban Decay All Nighter Pollution Protector. I know this is like a kind of setting spray that you use when you go on a night out or out and about but I just use it at home I should probably get another setting spray but this one is great big big fan of that always a fan of Urban Decay I'm such a fan girl what else is in here oh little eye cream so the ginseng I've got the eye cream the moisturizer and the treatment lotion mist recommend I've got some strips some calms your girl's an anxious person, okay? I don't know if these work. I don't know if it's just placebo, but I've always got some in case I feel like I can't handle the anxiety. <laughs> so those live there. This is something that I got in a advent calendar. It's a solid deodorant. I think it's actually made for men, but I mean, it kind of smells like it's made for men. Oh, but it smells good though. Solid deodorant. I am actually a really big fan of this. I'm going to put this in my bathroom because I completely forgot that I had it and was wondering where I put it. So there we go. Let's have a little tidy. It's the last drawer. Okay, I've got this. Okay, 
I think that's as organized as this drawer is going to get. I feel as though I've made so much progress today. I have chucked out more than I was expecting considering that I did a big clear out a couple of months ago, but I'm gonna show you my drawers now. You saw the before, let's go and have a look at the after. Okay guys, we are back and I'm so much happier with how my drawers look, especially the lip drawer. I feel as though this one, oh, look at that satisfying tidiness. Really nice, love that, very happy. So that's my entire makeup collection. Thank you for watching if you've made it this long. If you have made it this far in the video, comment a little lipstick emoji. Yeah, so thank you very much for helping me do that. And I guess I'll see you in my next video. In fact, in my next video, I will, oh my God, sorry, satisfying, had to open it again. In my next video, I will be doing a makeup routine. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for that for a very long time. So I will show you myself putting a lot of this onto my face. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up and I will see you soon. Bye.